Diane Keaton is a bona fide legend of cinema. She's been acting for over six decades and has starred in some of the most acclaimed and influential films ever made, like The Godfather Trilogy and Annie Hall. Although she's been romantically involved with potentially dozens of Hollywood hunks over the years, at 77, Diane Keaton says she'll never date a man again. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating history of Diane's relationships and why she chose her independence. Facts First presents at 77, Diane Keaton says she'll never date a man again. Single and Unwilling to Mingle Diane Keaton is done with dating, and at 77 years old, she's got every right to make that decision. In a recent interview with AARP The Magazine, the Annie Hall star said it is highly unlikely she'll ever cast her net out into the murky dating waters again. She discussed how she can't recall anyone calling her up any time as of late, offering to take her out. Her famous exes include the likes of Al Pacino, Warren Beatty, and Woody Allen. And while she's certainly linked up with her fair share of Hollywood A-listers, landing her on the cover of all the major gossip rags, she's never hunkered down and tied the knot with anyone. She's not anti-marriage or anything like that, but she's simply never felt the pressing need to walk down the aisle and make a legally binding contract agreeing to spend the remainder of her life with anyone that she's dated. Keaton may have never gotten married, but she has adopted two children whom she loves and adores. Her oldest adopted child, Dexter, is 27 and her youngest, Duke, is 22. Of note is the fact that she adopted both of them after she'd reached the age of 50. Now that they're all grown up and moved out, Keaton now is a member of the Empty Nest Club. When asked by AARP what her relationship with her children was like, Keaton responded by saying that they're great and they're doing good. She went on to mention Dexter is now married and starting a family of his own, and Duke is currently single and living on his own. This video is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. Did you know that hiring a lawyer for a car accident or an injury is actually really easy? With Morgan & Morgan, you can do it all from your phone in just eight clicks or less. As a true 21st century law firm, They've modernized the injury law process, so you can submit your case details, sign contracts, and even text your attorney and legal team throughout the duration of your case. They can be your first recourse in the case of a car accident, and you don't pay any fees unless they win. So if you're ever injured in a car accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less without having to leave your couch. For more information, you can go to forthepeople.com or dial pound law. That's pound 529 right from your cell phone. Keaton's Jerk of a Dog Much like many other single parents who have found themselves with a big, empty, and quiet house after children moved out, Keaton has adopted a pet to keep her company. Diane's dog, Reggie, is pretty much all she has right now in the way of permanent housemates, and she seems to like it that way. She told the periodical that she never asked for a dog or sought one out intentionally. In fact, she says Reggie came to her and basically told her, in her little canine way, that she thought she could use a dog in her life. To which Keaton responded reluctantly with an, okay, I guess. Granted, now that Reggie has been in Keaton's life for quite some time, she's come to love her unconditionally. Describing her unique relationship with her pooch, Keaton says, quote, Dogs are irresistible. They're just idiots. While that might sound harsh, it's clear Keaton was being a little cheeky. As she went on to say, Reggie is a big jerk, and she's a great jerk, and she's hilarious. Social Media Superstar with an empty house and not much else on her plate at the moment to demand her attention, Keaton has chosen to spend her free time mingling with her fans and followers on social media. She currently has 2.4 million Instagram followers, which isn't too shabby for a woman in her 70s. She's admitted, however, that she does have a small team to assist her with her posts and keeping up with her online presence. She says she needs the help, but she cherishes it. She also says she loves collaborating with her team as it feels like making little movies in a way. In one recent video she posted, she can be seen dancing along to Miley Cyrus's Flowers. That video went viral and is now sitting with over a million likes. In a post Diane made explaining what went into making the video, she explained it was just one of those days when she thought she might as well do something stupid for kicks. The music was already rolling and she was outdoors, so she thought to herself, what the heck? It's this kind of spontaneity that Keaton loves tapping into her golden years. She loves making something happen out of virtually nothing. Her dating days are over. 
Just as she's been more than willing to put herself out there online with no filter, she's been remarkably candid about not dating in her 60s and 70s. In an interview with Extra back in January of 2023, she made the stunning revelation that she hasn't gone on a date or been romantically involved with anyone in the past 15 years. She added that at a certain point, she sort of arrived at the conclusion that everyone her age had stopped taking an active interest in her in that kind of way. Enough is enough, she's too weird, the Academy Award-winning actress joked before adding, I'm kind of odd, but I'm doing fine. In 2019, Keaton told In Style she hadn't actually dated anyone in the last 35 years. She did mention that she had a ton of male friends and plenty of other friends in general. So even though she hasn't been on any dates recently, she's not hurting for social interaction. As far as marriage goes, Keaton was quoted in 2021, when she was a guest on the Today Show, that she simply never wanted to give up her independence. She also admitted that no one had ever asked her to marry them either, so that could have played a role in things as well. Past Romances and Flings Diane Keaton has had several romantic associations with noteworthy men in Tinseltown, but none of them lasted long enough to become serious or lead to a happily ever after. In fact, Diane has been single for most of her life, and she seems to be perfectly satisfied with it. One of her earliest and most famous relationships was with Woody Allen, whom she met on the set of Play It Again, Sam, in 1968. The two stars dated for four years and starred in several films together, including Annie Hall, which earned her an Oscar for Best Actress. They remained friends after their breakup and continued to collaborate on projects like Manhattan and Radio Days. Another high-profile romance was with Al Pacino, whom she met on the set of The Godfather in 1971. They had an on-and-off relationship for nearly two decades, during which they reprised their roles as Michael and Kay Corleone in The Godfather Part 2 II and 3. Their relationship was tumultuous and passionate, but ultimately doomed by Pacino's commitment issues. Diane Keaton also dated Warren Beatty for two years after co-starring with him in Reds in 1978. They had a fiery chemistry on screen and off, but their relationship ended when Beatty moved on to his next leading lady, Julie Christie. Other men who have been linked to Diane include James Foley, Edward Ruscha, Steve Jobs, Keanu Reeves, among others. Diane seems to be content with her solo living at 77 years old. And as we already discussed, she has a lot of friends, hobbies, interests, and projects that keep her busy and fulfilled. And let's not forget about old Reggie. Who needs a man when you have a loyal, albeit high-maintenance, dog to keep you company? Diane Keaton is an inspiration for many women who value their independence and freedom over conforming to societal expectations of marriage or romance. She's followed her own path and achieved success on her own terms. At the end of the day, she's living proof that being single can be fun, fulfilling, and fabulous. Diane Keaton may not be looking to date anyone anytime soon, but it's inspiring to hear how confident she is. It's hard to believe she's already in her late 70s, but judging by her attitude and social media presence, she seems to be just as spunky, vibrant, and self-assured as ever. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that Diane Keaton hasn't dated anyone in the last several decades and claims to have no intention of dating anyone ever again? Let us know in the comments section below.